Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two of Let's Talk Hook Up coming your way here on 97.3, our brand new home, starting the second hour of our brand new spot. And, Corey, what a great time. Great first hour. Just feels like old home. And it's very easy talking to a guy like having Scott in here. There's so much, there's such perfect timing and a great way to celebrate our new home. That's awesome, Rick. And 97.3, the fan, nothing but good times in here. And, Man, all the callers have uh, followed us over. The lines have been lit up the yeah, entire yeah, show. It, it's been really cool yeah. to see. Proud and uh, and stoked. And I mean, that's who that's who. Let's talk hookup is. You know, this show is for you know our callers, and they're the reason that things are so good. They're the reason that Corey and I get to come on and BS about fishing for a couple hours with you every weekend. And we we sure appreciate that. That's nothing but good times, yeah, man. Yeah, no doubt. Again, if you want to get your opportunity to get through, just like Corey's been saying, it's been a very busy morning. Phones are totally packed up, but lots of opportunities for you to come in the second hour. 833-288-0973. Our home here at 97.3. Again, 833-288-0973. When you call, just like always, you talk to our man Adam, who's standing by, making sure we're uh, we're up and running, and the phones are staying lit, and life is good. Well, the phones are packed, and we got catch reports coming your way. It's time to find out what's biting on the water. And Rick, the uh, FishDope.com report is sponsored by the Sato Crimp and Winder Company products that are serious for serious fishermen. The Sato Crimp system is the way to uh, connect your own your spectro to fluorocarbon and mono to top shots. Easy, cost effective, time and big fish proven. Some uh, commercially made top shots can cost as much as, uh, well, Rick knows, working in a tackle <laughs> shop, will cost quite a bit, you know. So uh, get the uh, Sato Crimp and Winder Company uh, deal. You sell them there at Fishman's Landing, huh? Sato Crimp and Winder, or S- Sato Crimps are the easiest way to connect big line. And we're doing a lot of big fish fishing right now, kite fishing for these big blue fins and flat fall rigs. Sato Crimp Kit, I mean, when you're buying pre-made fluorocarbon wine dons, I'd say they average between 30 and 50 bucks. It takes three of those to to buy a Sato crimp kit. Anybody can learn to make big line top shots with that thing. It is extremely easy to use. The directions are easy. You can come by the shop. We'll, we'll fill a guy in. But yeah, it's it's something that will save you money and let you allow you to make very secure and very easy connections. And that's the thing, you know. You can tie a hundred different knots, but if you tie it wrong, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Simple and strong and proven are, are the most important things, especially in big fishing. You heard Scott multiple times, like, a, a weak point in your connection will show itself on a big one. Yeah, that sucks. But, it, I mean, if you're in the San Diego area, come down and see Rick at Fisherman's Landing. If you're in the L.A. or Orange County area, check out the long fin, talk us tackle, and uh, save on tackle. You got it, man. Well, let's start off our catch report, and let's talk to the man. We got Mark Wish standing by, our private boater buddy. Captain Mark Wish is on the line right now. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Ricky, Corey, Scott. Oh, man, what? An exciting week this has been between you guys at Let's Talk Hook Up finding a new home there and biting bluefin and a major influx of yellowtails up here and hugely improving water conditions about everywhere. It points to another stellar season for us. We're really excited about everything going on here. So starting locally, we're seeing some uh, surface action right here in our backyard finally. You know, the pork rockfish are going to get a little break, it looks like. Uh, lots of good gray yellows pushed into the area, 10 to 18 pounds, biting the iron, biting the bait, started around the mussel farm. There's been fish out around the rigs and on the 150 proper, so you can spread out a little bit. A lot of boats the last few days, guys, so be courteous, please. It's very, very crowded and uh, really kind of puts the fish down a little bit yesterday. Just way too much boat traffic. At Catalina, some better signal on the yellows there also. Backside west has been the best. And uh, good news, there's a little bit more squid around. That uh, The squish has been back side middle and a little bit of sea bass scattered here and there. You know, no big concentrations, no big wallops yet, but but uh, there's definitely some fish around and some big ones. Uh, at San Clemente Island there, big doings, big volume of yellowtail pushed into the front side. 
a little bit late this year, but, you know, we'll take it. Uh, it's been mostly front side middle, front side west, and um, biting the jigs, biting the bait. It's been really good fishing. But, guys, take note, San Clemente is the Navy's island. It's a privilege for us to fish there. It's not a right. And uh, they call the shots. So you got to check the schedule this week. There is some closures. Uh, it's going to be kind of traumatic later on this week because a lot of what they're closing is right where all that yellowtail's living. So, you know, it just is what it is and be curious. Uh, offshore, oh boy, that bluefin's been biting, man. What a nice area of fish. Kind of from the 371 down toward the 390 is, you know, the general area. But check fish dope for the latest numbers. Danny's got all that stuff, um, up on that site there. It's biting again this morning. Just heard from Danny a little bit ago. Double trouble sardine rig under balloons really been getting them. And, Mixed in with all that beautiful 50 to 80 pounders is some of that big ones now, so you've got to have that heavy tackle ready. There's been several fish over 200 pounds are caught this week. And in a general sense, you know, I watch that water pattern in this area really closely, and it's been warming and cleaning big time here these past few days. It bodes really well. There was a report of some bluefin pushing up above the border, the 181 to the 182 ridge had a, had a report of some fish. And looking at the charts this morning, it, it, with the way the water's warming and cleaning, I think uh, somebody's going to see a mile in here pretty quick. Uh, it's just uh, dramatic changes here these past few days. So collectively, guys, we got nice weather and biting fish and time to go fishing. Mark, how how is that a fishdope.com May report? How how are you, how is it that it's yellows at the island and it's bluefin here and we're worried about Clemente closures and you know all this fish moving up the coast and you're talking about seeing a marlin soon? It's it's the beginning of May. This is the first show. Like this is just I feel like this is something we should be talking about in August. You know you're right and it's it, it's crazy. I mean one of the guys. Uh, from Clemente yesterday made a comment the water came up by three or four degrees overnight. So it's just, you know, we, we got big changes coming. You know, it is kind of a barely half-assed El Nino scenario. And, uh, you know, maybe we're going to see a little more of that trend this year. Who knows? But with all that bluefin, like you guys are talking about, what the planes have been seeing scattered around it, you know, and what everybody's catching for this time of year, it's, I mean, this setup is nothing short of fantastic, guys. Get your gear ready and go fishing. Call it whatever you want to call it. Let's make it keep happening, man. Keep this tune in here. Mark, great report. We appreciate it. A great set of information. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on like that, fishdope.com, certainly the way to do it. For an extra 20, you know, you can save 20 bucks on a new membership if you just plug in the code HOOKUPNOW. That's HOOKUPNOW. It's all lowercase, no space. Saves you 20 bucks on a new membership, and you're going to get info just like Mark gave for you. They're going to keep you in mind when the island is closed, how you approach it, how you find information about that, and most importantly, where that fish is biting and when it's biting and how to go catch it. It's a great service out there that Jason and Danny put together with information like yourself. And Mark, if somebody wants to find out more that's going on at Pacific Edge, get the best bait tank in the world. How do we find you and keep in touch with everything that's going on at Pacific Edge? Uh, Ricky, we're in Huntington Beach. The store's on the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. The phone number is area code 714-840-4262. The website's PacificEdgeTackle.com. And, you know, I was just thinking, you know, you guys are on FM now. I can only imagine what we might hear out of Dave Hanson one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. But fortunately, Thomas is still standing by with a dumb button, and we got another day to get ready. So when the wild man gets on go. the air, we'll, uh, we'll be in good shape. Mark, great job. We appreciate a great report, buddy. Look forward to talking to another one next week. Okay, you got it. Take thanks, care, guys. Thanks, thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, awesome stuff from uh, Bolsa Chica and Edinger with all those bluefin talk and having Scott in the studio. Let's go down to Marcos at Seaforth Sport Fishing. Good morning, Marcos. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. We're now on 97.3 The Fan FM, and welcome. Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Uh, Marcos, doing great. You sound great, and having a great time in here talking fishing, and what a good time to have you on at Seaforth. Boy, some, some big stuff going on down at Seaforth right now. Right, and when you guys have your uh, you know housewarming party for the new digs there, we can probably supply some fish for you guys. I'm gonna get a little bit for you. I like I like the sounds that you're gonna really like. Uh, you know, the next time the boys come up, Marcos, you're gonna have to dig. Being a a diehard Padres fan like I know you are, and being at the home of the Padres, you're gonna really like the new studio. It's very very impressive. I'm definitely have to come check it out at some point. But in the meantime, fishing is pretty good. About what we've been seeing, so moving in the right direction there. Those half day trips. Still very good bottom fishing in the morning, catching those reds, rockfish, mix of other bottom fish there. In the afternoons, they've been looking for calico bass. 
Uh, a little tougher fishing, but they are catching bass. I actually saw six yellowtail Thursday afternoon there, and lots of life there. It's a matter of getting those fish to really take off, and we know as the weather warms up here, that's going to happen pretty soon there. So definitely good fishing on the half day. The full day is fishing offshore there, still going after those bluefin, and there's been some big bluefin on there. You know, fish in the 50 to 100 pound range or some over 100 pounds there. So Crazy. definitely want to bring your heavy gear for those trips. A lot of people have been going out there under geared and losing some fish. And then those day and a half, again, going offshore there looking for a bluefin, some yellowtail in the mix there. Just, there's all around good fishing, guys. And you know, like you said, it's May here and fishing's taken off, so it looks like we're getting a nice early start to the season. So definitely check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Have our full schedule up there for those half days, those full days, a day and a half. We're scheduling those you know, a couple weeks ahead here, so definitely check that out. Always give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383. Or come down and visit some person, get that gear ready, especially if you haven't taken it out yet. Now it's time to get out of storage, get a new line on there, get new gear, and get out there fishing. Great call, Marcos. And, man, we've got a great-looking week of weather in front of us, too. Very very low wind on the grounds where the guys have been fishing. I think it's only going to bode well to to keep this thing rolling. Unbelievable fishing that's going on. I know all of your boats have been getting in on the action. The you know Some of the guys do such a great job, the Cortez and the San Diego, with keeping their social media update and, and uh, you know the Tribute, all, all, all the guys doing a fantastic job. We appreciate a great report, and it's been so much fun seeing the grade of fish that's coming on, what, you know, formerly known as a three-quarter day, a full-day trip, and seeing fish in excess of 100 pounds happening almost every day. It's, it's, it's a crazy time that we're in right now, buddy. Absolutely, and I know like when I started working here however many years ago, you caught any yellowtail on the full day or the three-quarter day at the time, hey, that was a pretty good trip. Yeah, caught and now you're looking at days where, oh, you guys didn't catch limits? What's going on? You know, Or wait, you're, you only caught 600-pound bluefin? Oh, you guys are slacking. <laughs> so definitely some really good fishing on there. And, you know, it's definitely check the website for those updates because sometimes it may not look like a good count, but then you see, the like you said, the grade of those fish, and that's really good fishing right now. No doubt about it, Marcos. One more time, give us a phone number if somebody wants to jump on a trip at C4. 619-224-3383 if you want to talk to us, if you just want to go online and just get straight to business and make that reservation, seaforthlanding.com. All right, great job, buddy. Appreciate the phone call. We'll look forward to talking to you next week. We'll talk to you then, guys. Thanks, Marcos. All right. Nothing but good times, Rick. We're yeah. learning it all in here. And, and the catch report today is sponsored by Fish Pros at uh, Fishman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the uh, best processing for your fish when your trip returns to San Diego Landings. Now with Fish Pros of Market, you can purchase fresh fish, smoked and jerkied fish, spices, rubs, smoked cheeses, and their famous tuna burgers at their uh, convenient Liberty Station location or order online at fishmansprocessing.com. And we have yet to screw up yeah, for the, I, any winners. I, I'm with Scott. It feels good that we're not on 1090 anymore. So they, being here, like, <laughs> okay. yeah, Scott, Scott good made good. a good point. He's like, you better, he's like, you better start dumping some out there. He's like, Sean, Sean's family. You know, Sean takes very good care of us, takes very good care of our fishermen. He's, he's great with our fleet. But Scott made a point, or, you know, Scott Mizell made a point, like, we gotta, he's gotta earn that a little bit. We gotta start throwing a few out there. So, we're, so we we're, just, we just put one yeah, check down. Yeah, there don't, it is. Don't, don't get, don't kid yourself. Rick's, Rick's real good at screwing up. I'm, I'm, I'm confident I'll be making plenty of mistakes, but we're gonna put one on there for sure. Again, Fisherman's Processing, we appreciate them taking such good care of us. Uh, I know Sean and Kristen, again, you want us to talk about somebody who does a great job with their social media. They're always keeping the information out. They were a big fan and a big supporter of help getting the word out of us, us making the move to our new home here at 97.3. So, appreciate them and all those guys. Guys do it. Hey, man, we're having a great time. The phones are absolutely packed. Corey, why don't we jump right back into them? Well, I know somebody will keep us in line, Rick. Let's talk to Wayne. Wayne's calling from Huntington Beach. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's up, Wayne? Hey, guys. Good show, man. Great show. Congratulations on the new digs. Thanks, buddy. We're, we're really proud to be here, Wayne. It's a great, great spot. Great team. Okay, I was wondering, are the fish being caught on the troll? Are you guys uh, sonar marking these things? And will you let us throw on the slide? Uh, as far as the slide is concerned, every boat has their differences. On the condor, get your bait in the water is all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you're not going to get bit if you're not in the water. Um, as far as the troll, bluefin and the troll generally are not uh, the common thing. It's mostly sonar fish, uh, eyeball fish, lots of eyeball schools. On the condor, we have three to four sets of stabilized binoculars going all the time. So anytime you hear something excited from the PA system, get your rod ready. You're probably <laughs> going to be on some fish. Trolling is, I, I would never say a thing of the past, because when they're, when they're wanting to bite the jigs, of course you're going to feed them to them and you're going to catch them. But your crew, yourself and your crew, are so good with those sonars that the jig strike thing is, 
I don't want to call it a thing in the past, but it, it, it's kind of what it's become. You could either drag the jigs by a school and maybe snag one and get a stop and get things rolling, or... You know, those guys, they see that school, they're tracking the school, they know which direction it's going, and they're going to position the boat so that the entire school is going to come through, you get on your chum. You're you're basically now able to position the boat so the entire school is going to come through you, rather than what before could potentially catch in a corner of it with the jigs and maybe catching a fish that way. You're just setting yourself up for the maximum success with that sonar. Yeah, we... um. It, it, with this bluefin, these these giant schools, we drive over just the most hellacious schools to try to get on the edge of a certain school. We're trying right. to get that just seems like it's acting better. I would never say that trolling is a thing of the past because we're going to get back to someday. Absolutely, we get a jig strike and you load up Albuquerque, please. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bring you're talking. On. But um, the trolling thing is right now. It's one of those dual things. Sometimes when we're looking for the kelp patties, we're traveling at a much higher rate of speed, trying right. to beat guys to kelps and find kelps. Sure, maximize our time that you get stop on a skipjack and. It's like it, you, pull, you want to pull your hair out. But uh, the trolling, we adapt it as our days go. Definitely, if, if you've got an opportunity to put a jig back there, put a jig yeah. back there. And, and you probably hear the term more now, blind jig strike. I mean, that that's kind of more the, the norm now, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, we when, when I bought the Galleon back in 93, wow, um, <laughs> uh, my first offshore trip, we caught 93 bluefin, 31 were over 100 pounds for 18 guys, and it happened on a single strike on a Rapala. How cool that, is that? that? I didn't have a sonar back then. Yeah. It just took up. Oh, wow. Okay. And you and wouldn't, there it was. You wouldn't have made that catch not dragging that lure. Never. You could yeah. have been having machinery eyeballs yeah. looking, and you probably would have never got that school. That's, that's cool. crazy. You, you brought up another good point about having three or four guys and you know, stabilized binoculars. It's just a different world. You're seeing things now that are miles away. You know, miles. You, you didn't see a kelp at three miles before. It just that no. that wasn't a thing. You know, no matter how no matter how much somebody liked to brag about how it's just a different deal now. You it's pick off one thing. turn at three miles. That's that's a bird that's smaller than a football, and you see it from three miles away. It's crazy because we see these bird schools, and it's like sometimes you eyeball them uh, with the glasses, excuse me, and it it's so far away that you you just you're not going to get there. You know, you're no. not going to get there. So <laughs> you got to be kidding me. But some of these kelps that we mark with things, you find when you run four and a half miles for a kelp, you're asking the guy on top, you sure you had a kelp? Yeah, you sure you saw it? I've been driving for 15 minutes. You sure? Oh, I got it. There's a four or five footer that he saw from four miles away. No, it's amazing. It's an amazing thing. They're not a a cheap deal, but you you can't afford not to have them. And that's why you put several sets on the boat because it's a tool, it's an investment that you you have to make. We have like six pairs on the boat because when one goes down, um, we need always to have that four pairs. We had every crew member up there because the trolling thing right now is not yeah. a big thing. Every crew member will be up there looking through Stavis. That's awesome. No, it's great. Awesome. Wayne, I hope that answers your question for you, buddy. Thanks very much. All right. I appreciate the phone call. Hey, let's find out what's going on. We got our man Bart Hall switching gears, talking about Big Bluefin. Let's talk to an area that's become very near to my heart, and I know a spot that, uh, that Scott likes very well, and that's all the way up in Mammoth because the Eastern Sierra Trout Opener is on. The fit, the season has officially started. I know, Bart, you were up there getting in on the phone. Good morning, Bart Hall. Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to your new home in <clears throat> 97.3, and I'm, it's fun. I'm, I'm actually listening on their app. I want to see what's going on, you know. Yeah, right. I know that via radio dot com, the uh, there's yeah. the uh, ninety seven three puts a lot of work into their stream. It's a very successful uh, way to listen to the show on uh, via via radio dot com. So we appreciate the support, Bard, and uh, we'd love to have you. I can't wait to show you this new studio, man. It's uh, it's beautiful in here. We're having a great time. I was talking to Adam. I guess he's in another room now. Huh? Yeah, we we get to look at Adam now. He's directly across from us. Yeah, it's uh, so uh, he's doing a great job though. He's a busy guy. It's been very very busy on the phones this morning. Well, anyway, great show this morning. You know, you guys got get me all excited. Here I am up here in Camarillo. I can't wait to get down there and jump in on the on all of the hot San Diego action. But last weekend, I had the opportunity to go up to uh, to the Eastern Sierra and participate not just in the fishing, but the activities. You know, there's always the the uh, Bishop Chamber of Commerce puts on a press party every year, and all the the uh, writers come up and uh, uh, participate and and get together and get ready for the opening on Saturday and. And the opening on Saturday was was good. This year. The, the, there was a lot of snow up there, man. They're going to be skiing up until till uh, August probably. Wow! But uh, from June Loop all the way down to you know to Bishop, of course, all everything was open. Crowley was open. Kovic was open. Great. Uh, they got a bunch of big fish out of the June Loop. I got a few big fish out of 
out of Convict, and, and not a lot of big fish out of Crowley, but there was a, a pretty good volume out there. And uh, it's just going to get uh, better through the as the snows start to melt, the water starts running off. I know Convict will improve. The the Mammoth Lakes are still you're not going to get to them for a while because it's uh, it's pretty frozen up there, a lot of snow. That's but so cool. uh, overall, it was a very exciting time. It's something I love. On uh, Saturday, you know, we go to Crowley and we give away the uh, Fred Hall, Fred J. Hall Memorial Trophy. I, I don't say Fred J. Hall very much anymore, but you know, that's my father's full name, and we give that away. And then, and then on Saturday night, we had a wonderful dinner at the Convict Lake Restaurant, uh, which is my favorite restaurant where I used to take Ginny, you know, when we were, were dating. <laughs> so it, it was it, it's a fun time. There was, there was, it's really good up there. And it, it will continue. The, the pattern now is that it used to be everybody came on the first week, and now it's like first and second weekend. So this should be another good weekend for uh, for trout fishermen in the eastern Sierra. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear that. Sounds like great fishing. And that's honestly a perfect setup. The, the beauty of fishing up there is, you know, you have access to go everywhere. And, you know, you can go to the lakes up in June and target your trophy and come down to Crawley, the, you know, in the afternoon or the next day to, to get some quantity and Sounds like it's a great opportunity, and sounds like good weather and good times up there. And you were telling me uh, yesterday that uh, was it your son that um, that, that uh, got a trailer from Ryan and his family at Adventures in Camping. Well, you know, yeah, Ryan and Shannon Dore over there at Adventures in Camping uh, gave him a call, and, and and it's the most amazing. Well, you know because you've done it. I right? have, yeah, on your recommendation. You call, yeah, you call them up, and uh, they say, okay, where do you want to go? Well, we'd like to go to Crowley. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll we'll call you, and uh, we were uh, up there. We got up there early to play golf uh, on Friday morning and Friday afternoon. Playing golf, got to call the golf course. Well, your trailer's set up. Okay, so uh, I go to the press party, and after dinner, the, after the golf, they go up to Crowley. Uh, we got a trailer here. Okay, it's down here. You walk up, there it is, set up, ready to go, generator, barbecue, right on the water. <laughs> How cool is that? And then when you want to leave, you just close it up and say bye bye. It, it, it truly is the luxury of having a, a killer luxury camping trailer that's stocked and ready to go with everything you want without the hassle of making the drive or doing anything else. You don't have to deal with storing or dumping or water or anything like that. You just you show up, you have an amazing facility set up for you, and, and you nailed it. The best part is going home in the morning. You, you get up early and you're on the road and you're not towing. You hit the 395 with just your, with just your car, your truck, and away you go. It's a, it's a great service. I know we, uh, when Dallas and I went up the first time, we fell in love with it. And, uh, you know, we've become buds with Ryan, and now he's a sponsor of the show, and we're really proud to have them. And I just really hope that everybody does get to get to utilize their service and they've been so nice you know being a new sponsor let's talk hookup offering 20 percent off at your end purchase if you do uh, rent one of the trailers 20 percent off your rental up there just by mentioning let's talk hookup so bart i'm glad things went so good sounds like it's a great opener going to be a very successful run in the eastern sierras we appreciate the report i know that area is very special to you it's really becoming the same way to me and uh, i'm glad to hear that the Fred J. Hall Trophy was uh, awarded to another worthy participant with a great big fish, and uh, appreciate you keeping us in the loop with what's going on at one of our favorite spots out at the Eastern Sierra. Well, thanks a lot, Rick. Thanks, thanks a lot, Corey. Thanks a lot, everybody. All right, Bart. Appreciate the phone call. Thanks for keeping us in the loop, and we'll talk to you real soon, buddy. Bye-bye. All right, thanks a lot for that. Corey, phones are packed. Let's keep on them. And they have been packed up, Rick, this entire time. And great welcoming to 97.3 to fan. Let's talk to Rich. Rich is calling from Bradley. Good morning. Welcome to the show. What's up, Rich? Well, first of all, thank you for being there, <laughs> and uh, good news is I'm having no trouble at all picking up your signal on the uh, on the 97.3's website on my uh, desktop, so I can multitask and keep up with you guys on Facebook as well, so that, that's really cool. Um, I'd like to ask uh, Scott a question about, on the Condor, um, I, I went to the uh, Fred Hall show and I took advantage of the deal where you get... Uh, your new reel filled up with 130-pound test specter, and uh, I bought a big uh, coil of the 130-pound test fluorocarbon, and I've got absolutely no experience with that size of, of a rope for horsing in those uh, big <laughs> rope fans. And I'm hoping, uh, do the guys on the on the boat uh, help out with uh, making the connections and uh, getting a hook tied to 130-pound test? Because I know I'd get it wrong. <laughs> um Good question. Yeah. Absolutely. All the guys are all up to all the new knots and the most modern uh, connections. Uh, they love tying them. A couple of our guys spent years working on the long-range boats, and they're really dialed in yeah. on these connections. 
uh, much more than I ever was, to be honest. I have to go to the tackle shop every year and ask Rick or the guys, hey, how do I tie that again? <laughs> um, but, yes, the guys would love to help you, and they'll make sure they'll at least make sure you know how to tie it so when you have to, you'll be ready to go. Kind of always been a specialty of yours, from the Galilean days to the Condor and everything else, of having a crew that way. You know, your guys are always very top-notch, always very good at what they do, and, and always been like a sense of pride for for what's going on on the Condor. Absolutely. Um, I don't know how many times I've had to go down. I remember when Rob worked on the boat? Hey, Rob, how do I tie that Albright again? <laughs> <laughs> no, those guys are always on it, and they they love taking care of the guys and helping them out. And there's something really cool about helping a guy with his connection out and his gear, and then he lands that big blue totally. And it's just, that's what we live for. Yep. It's really fun. That's yeah. why you bought that big big outfit, you know. And, and yeah. you're saying it perfect, Scott. I mean, the, the, the guys on the boat, right, their success is based on Rich from Bradley here. Yeah. You know, he Absolutely. jumps on the boat. So if Rich has success, I mean, everybody's happy, right? Everybody's I mean, happy. And then we, I have more social media now that I'm a guru on social media. <laughs> right? Um, and I get more pictures to post, the better our connection knots are. So ask the guys, for sure, always. Yeah, no, no Whatever doubt. boat you're on, they're all going to know how to tie these knots. Rich, appreciate the phone call, buddy. Go get that hundred. Go get that big one of your 130-pound. Boys will take real good care of you. Thanks. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot for the call. Scott, that is something worth mentioning, too. You guys are doing a fantastic job with your social media. And if somebody wants to keep in touch both with Condor and Intrigue, what, what's the best way to follow and, and find you? You guys are on Instagram. I know you see pictures all the time. How do we find you? We want to keep up with all the stuff that's going on on the day-to-day -day basis. Right now, um, with the social media, I would say that if you're on Instagram and Facebook, you're on. And, and for the Condor, Instagram is condor.sportfishing. Okay. On Facebook, it's just Condor Sport Fishing. And it's Intrigue Luxury on uh, Instagram and Intrigue Luxury Charters on Facebook. I, and we keep them fully. My wife does all she the does stuff a really for good the job. She, 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 That's she why I want to say it. Because she, 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 she's on it every day, and you guys are a fun follow. You can see what's going on in the boat, whether it's, whether it's cruises and you want to see the parties like you were talking about you did last night, or a. Or, uh, Fishing trip for a 200 pounder, it's cool to follow the intrigue. And, and I highly recommend guys going to scope it out because it is. That is a beautiful ride you guys put together. And it's definitely a little twist on something that you're used to doing. Yeah, we're yeah. enjoying it. Last night we did a, a, a catered sushi trip and, and it was hand rolled sushi for the people on the boat. It was amazing. It's, uh, we're getting to do some different things and it's really fun. That's cool. But the fishing is still what's, yeah, you know, that, yeah, that's, that's, that's what Scott does. That's what's in me. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Hey, that's nothing but good times. We're going to have more from Scott, more from the Condor, more from the Intrigue. We come back and let's talk hookup on 97.3 The Fan. The Sierra Trout season is just around the corner, and I can't wait. Rock Cod Rick here for Adventure and Camping, where they bring the adventure to you. If you enjoy camping in the eastern Sierra but don't own an RV or a trailer or simply don't want the hassle, let Adventure and Camping park it for you. It's simple. Check out their website, adventureincamping.com. Select from over 75 campgrounds they serve. Decide on a trailer floor plan that fits your needs. Request a quote and your desired vacation dates. Then just show up and start your adventure. Dallas and I did exactly that, and it was incredible. We chose a beautiful mammoth area campground. Adventures in Camping delivered the trailer to our spot. We just showed up and enjoyed a clean, spacious trailer without any of the hassle. When it comes time to go home, we just closed the door and drove away. It doesn't get any easier. If you enjoy camping in the eastern Sierra but don't want the hassle, Adventure in Camping is for you. Check out AdventureInCamping.com for details. Make sure you mention Rock Cod Rick sent you for a special 20% off offer. But this special won't last, so go to AdventureInCamping.com today. This is Captain Art Taylor of The Searcher. Celia and I and everyone at Team Searcher would like to thank all of our customers for a successful 2018 season. Are you searching for an affordable fishing adventure from one and a half to seven days in length? The Searcher has an outstanding crew, great food, air-conditioned cabins and galley, and an RSW system to preserve your catch. Our 2019 schedule is available now. Book your fishing adventure online at searchersportfishing.com or call our office at 619-226-2403. That's 619-226-2403. When you want dependable service for your outboard, your first choice should be H&H Marine in Pacific Beach. Owner and mechanic Jeff Hughes found there was a real need for great outboard repair, and that's why he started H&H Marine. Jeff and his crew will service your motors at their convenient Garnett Avenue shop, in your boat slip, or at your home as a factory-authorized Yamaha service center. When Jeff takes the job, it's done right. He's worked on Pete and Rick's boats for years and comes highly recommended. H&H Marine is also your 
your source for new Yamaha and Mercury outboards as well as original parts. Need a new bait tank? H&H Marine has you covered with top-of-the-line blue water bait tank sales and expert installation. In the market for a new boat? H&H Marine is a striper boat dealer with great prices on their full line of affordable fishing boats. So for outboard service when and where you want it, outboard sales, striper fishing boats, and bait tank systems, check out H&H Marine, 2680 Garnett Avenue in Pacific Beach, on the web at hhmarineservice.com. The Sport Fishing Association of California is taking a leadership role to broaden the fishing opportunities for Southern California anglers. And Saturday, May 18th, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick, and the president of SAC, Captain Ken Frankie, will host a live broadcast from Dana Wharf Sport Fishing in Dana Point. Don Hansen and the Hansen family will talk about the great opportunities available from Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Their great fleet of sport fishing boats have been taking Southern California anglers fishing for decades. In addition, Don has played a key role in working with SAC on fisheries issues like sardine and more. And he'll talk about those and other issues that are on the horizon. SAC's mission is to promote tourism through marine recreation and educational activities while protecting ocean resources. Tune in Saturday, May 18th, for a very special live Let's Talk hookup broadcast from Dana Wharf Sport Fishing in Dana Point for the Sport Fishing Association of California. Check CaliforniaSportFishing.org. Alcigar invented fluorocarbon fishing line in 1971. Their never-ending pursuit of innovation has never stopped. They are the only company making double structure fluorocarbon, which combines two exclusive custom resins, a high density interior for strength and sensitivity, and a softer exterior for enhanced knot strength. So for the best in fishing performance, pick up a spool of Seaguar Fluoro Premier and the original Blue Label Leader material at your favorite tackle dealer. Both are double structure fluorocarbon. Thanks to Radio.com, you can now use Alexa to catch 97.3 The Fan at home. This is a horrible idea. Are you kidding? This is a great idea. Just say, Alexa, play 97.3 The Fan, and the next thing you'll be hearing is 97.3 The Fan. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on 97.3 The Fan. I should just screw up so we get another one. How, about, how about if I just say 1090? <laughs> <laughs> we got well, now, two. now we're at two winners. That's then. for All you, right. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're having fun, Corey. This has been great. And, uh, man, such such good info, such good thing. The phone's so cool to see. You know, I mean, it's just so cool to see that our family's out there. And, uh, I mean, you never know how things are going to go when you make the move and you got new numbers. And, um, you know, I want to say a big thanks to Dallas, who, you know, just like uh, Scott, you were saying your your lovely wife does such a good job on your social media. Dallas, the reason that we have all those posts and things, you know, she's the one that makes them all up, and I really appreciate all the hard work. And she's been doing a great job, you know, letting people know on our social media accounts that we're making the move and what the new call in numbers are. And I mean, calls have been crazy busy. It's packed. Every single phone line wants to talk to Scott. And maybe one more time, shoot us a number. Even though we're packed up, as soon as somebody drops off, Corey, what's the best way for somebody to reach us so they can take the next one? Well, Scott's giving away a day and a half trip on the uh, Condor. He couldn't ask for anything better. And we're giving away a $100 gift card to Fisherman's Landing. And we're up to uh, two three-pack yeah. Selections from Fishman's Processing. Now we're up to two of them. Again, it's a really cool prize. You're just going to go on the website at Fish Pros the Market or Fisherman's Processing, FP Gourmet, and kind of scope out all of the different options that they have. They they have basically just a bunch of killer rubs and spices, you know, dry rubs, things like that. And, you know, they get really killer ingredients. They'll smoke a lot of things, like they'll do smoked sea salts and things like that. And they, they really are. They're killer. Really nice, like gourmet bag. Sprinkle them on your fish or your beef or whatever it is you're cooking. And, you know, they just kind of make you an all star in the kitchen. And, and and I think their most popular and maybe my most favorite is their pokey kit. So you basically buy a kit that has all of the dry ingredients to make pokey, go fishing with Scott in the Intrigue, come back with a killer bluefin loin, cube it up, sprinkle that on there, put in your wet ingredients, which they list you everything, mix it up, and you'll have, I mean, super grade A professional pokey that you didn't do anything to do other than cut some cubes and pour a little bit of stuff in the bowl. Man, it's really cool. You can't beat that, and you want to give us a call. This is our new number for here on uh, 97.3. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was close. <laughs> on 97.3, the fan, our new number here is going to be 833 833- 
288-0973. And Scott was talking about the quality of the uh, bluefin. That, uh, it's just exceptional, huh? I mean, it's, it's just, amazing. Yeah. It's amazing because it's been here for so long just eating. It's not traveling. It's, cool. it's just getting, getting, it's getting fatty. fatty. Fat and happy. Texture. We had pokey last night. And it's just the texture is amazing. It's it's a beautiful quality of fish. And the way that we treat our fish now. These, these younger guys that are in the fleet now, when that bluefin comes on the deck, they're gutting these things before they put them in the hold. Spiking, you know, bleeding. They just threw them in the hold. Yeah. Yeah. We want more room for more fish. <laughs> but they truly take care of this product yeah. that comes out of RSW. And it, it is a gorgeous product. I well, love I love that story that you were saying that the guys Gillen and got them. And, and you were saying, like, that wasn't a rule that Scott said, make sure you do this. Like, those guys are just, all they're concerned with is the end quality quality that's coming out of that fish, and I, I love hearing stuff like that. They're, they're raising the quality of it. We're, we always bled them, because I always thought that was the great thing to do, but now, you know, they're they're taking their cues yeah. from who they learned from on other boats, and they're taking it up a notch. The really quality cool. of the fish that comes off our boat is better than it's ever no, been. It's awesome thought. to hear, and that's truly a, a harvest. I mean, you're, you're harvesting a a 60 to, man, 160, even a 200-pound fish. You know, yeah. it's, a, it's a harvest. Yeah. And, and then having uh, the quality of your crew and then having uh, Sean at Fisherman's Processing so close yeah. and, and being able to have that packaged up in the perfect one- or two-pound chunks. And Killer. You can't beat it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I dig it. And, uh, you know, it uh, how, how good to... Uh, for him, how good is that sushi on a roll? Like how cool, so how cool, cool, how cool of a deal to have somebody like Jeff come down and charter the boat, have a little after party, and make up all the sushi fresh for you. That's that's a that's a cool combo, man. I want to look into doing that. So fun. We we started that as one of the deals on the intrigue. We do a little like a sunset cruise, and yeah. Jeff is your personal sushi chef, rolling what you want. And Jeff and I have been doing stuff together since yeah. 1990. That's really trips. cool. We did the first one he ever did, and boom! And now he's got the biggest sushi catering company <laughs> around. It's wonderful. Every yeah. fisherman's landing party is always is always Always. done by Jeff, no matter yeah. what, and he, he's uh, he's just a down to earth guy that really knows fish and can kick it out. It's pretty cool. He's a yeah, he's a good dude. Yep, we have hey, a great time. Well, right. the phones are packed, man. Everybody's dying to talk to you, Corey. Let's jump into him. It's awesome to see, and let's talk to Mike. Mike is calling from San Carlos. Good morning. Welcome to ninety seven three, the fan, and let's talk hookup. What's uh, up, Mike? Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome, buddy. Uh, yeah, this is Mike, expert uh, novice. Our expert novice, all right. Yes. <laughs> Glad to hear it, Mike. Good morning, buddy. Yeah, so I, I want to go on a oh, I'm the luckiest fan in the world, except my fingers don't really tie knots. So uh, when I go fishing, I'll take as many fishing poles as I can and have the deckhand and give them a tip, uh, kind of, you know, tie the hooks on. Because if I get busted off, I'm not going to be able to tie another one on. So if I was going on a three and a half right now, what uh you know what would I bring? What pound? What what what? And could I bring a bunch of them? Yeah, that's a great question, Mike. And Scott's here to answer that. And and Scott, what what should he be bringing out on for these day and a half trips? Well, I've always told everybody to be prepared and kind of bring it all. I don't mean bring 15 rods or anything, yeah. but if you got a nice 25-pound, 40-pound, 60-pound, and then your your heavy tackle for the bigger fish, you're covered for what's going on now. And um, as the guys appreciate the tips, thank you very much, but their job is to make sure you're rigged properly. You just ask one of the crew members on the boat, and they're going to tie you up and help you out. If it's in the middle of a hot bite and you need help, Somebody is yeah. going to help you with your knots. Don't ever worry about that. That's our job. They'll make time, no matter yeah. what's going on. And that's why you have the type of crew that you have. Those, those, and and honestly, you're you know the reality is, Mike, you're not going to need to ask that because they're gonna they're gonna realize that and and just tell them tell them when you get on board. Hey man, I'm just I'm not good with my knots. Those guys are going to remember you right off the bat when they when they gaff a fish and they you know they clip the hook off. They're probably going to walk over to the box with you to tie you a new hook on or just just give them a heads up. Hey man, you know not tying's not my strength or my you know my fingers don't work the way I wish they would. Those guys are going to you know short of holding your hand, they're going to take care of you with everything you need on, on that trip. Whether it's Absolutely. spectra or tying another piece of floor or another hook or, or whatever you need, you're Absolutely. in really good hands on the condor. Yeah, even even don't be afraid to ask any of them. The guy on the bait tank can take two seconds out to tie you or not. Don't worry about it. ask them. They'll 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 help you out. Mike, appreciate appreciate the phone call very much. Who's up next, Corey? Let's talk to Emer. Emer is calling from San Diego. Welcome to the show this morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, welcome uh, to Let's Hi. Talk Hookup on 97.3 The Fan. Do you have a question for Scott? Yes, sir. Uh, so I'm fortunate enough to have some of that uh, heavy gear. Um, but when pulling on these bluefin, I've never actually put it in the two-speed. So when would be the right time to put that gear in the two-speed when we're pulling on these big bluefin? I'm 
Sorry, that didn't yeah, no worries. So a, a good question, and when one that not necessarily everybody have new um, new to it has a two speed outfit. Not sure when it's time to shift into low gear oh, versus okay. high gear. Yeah. Which again, that's a, gr- yeah. a great question no, because a question. there is a lot, and you know, you you can do that at the wrong time. Yeah, absolutely. G- generally, the rule that that we use is once that fish gets straight up and down, go ahead and put it in the low gear. When the fish is out away from the boat, which bluefin definitely like to do, yeah. they they do bluefin of all fish. They do some strange things. Totally. They'll stop completely. Stop. You see them shake their head, flare their gills, and then they kick and go somewhere. And if you're in that low gear, you just can't keep up with them. So once your fish is straight up and down, that is actually where the hardest part of the fight is. Go into low gear, use the rail, and bring them home. Bri- Using a two-speed outfit is, is, you know, if you haven't, before at this point, I think most of us have used a Talic or not, but it's, if you haven't used the low gear, I always equate it to like riding a 10-speed bike if you've never done it. When you're, when you're on flat ground where it's very easy to turn the pedals, you're in your high gear. And, you know, it's not all that much work because it's flat and it's easy and you're able to, to turn the pedals just a little bit and you gain a lot of ground. But when it's really difficult and you're going up a steep hill and you were still in gear 10, you couldn't even turn the pedal. You can't. You can't right. go anywhere, but you drop it into low gear into gear one, you can turn those pedals super easy. You may not be going as fast, but you're always gaining ground, and you're always yeah. gaining ground, and, and that's how fighting one of those big ones are. You'll get to that stalemate in high gear where you just, that fish is straight up and down. He's not coming to you. He's not going away from you. You're just stuck, and that low gear makes that difference. Yeah, the, what the, the great thing about that, that low gear um, is the pressure you can put on the fish. When that fish is circling and he's on that outside of that circle, you can gain ground. When you're walking up the rail following your fish, you can make ground. Yeah. Where in the old days you just you know you, you, you pumped the ride. You, sure pumped, yeah. you did the best you could, but nowadays that low gear is the way. But wait till that thing is straight up and down and it's heavy. That's such a good point, Scott. Because they're you know they get squirrely. P- people want to get into low too fast. And, too fast. You know and, and you know maybe maybe there's a little bit of stalemate at that point, but that's okay because you know you're keeping everything tight and you stretch out. And if he moves around, you need to pick up that slack or vice yeah. versa. Yeah. It's a really good call on not getting into low too early. Yeah, you don't want to have to follow the down 90 feet of boat and, and be on low gear trying to catch up to that fish. You, you need every ounce you can get. Good call. But again, straight up and down, put the torque to them. That, and that's why you buy the two-speed. You yep, know, and, that's why, and that's why we're catching 60-pounders pr- pretty steady and not, you know, the old days of a Newell 229 just... Well, at some point, you know, something's going to happen. It's all, you know, stretchy mono and super soft rod, so you could cast your anchovy and a reel that the drag's probably burnt out on the fish before. Like, yeah. there's some nice stuff that goes along with the new with the new technology. Ever great phone call, man. Appreciate the, appreciate it very much, and uh, and we'll look forward to hearing you again real soon. Let's let's jump back into it, Rick. Let's talk to Bob. Bob's calling from San Diego this morning. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Bob, thanks for hanging in there with us, buddy. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> loud, and, loud and clear, Bob. Good morning. All right, I'm just used to the little click when you guys actually pick up the phone. I'm not hearing that, but uh, you guys sound great on your FM signal now. Well, we're excited to be here, buddy, and um, uh, we appreciate you following us over, and we're, uh, we're we're stoked to continue the tradition of Let's Talk Cookup. Thanks, Bob. Yes, a question for you. Um, I, I know that years back you got a 205 on a Talica 12, uh, I know that was on a surface popper, but is a Talica 12 filled up with either 80-pound or 100-pound Max Quattro still too small of a reel to use as a flat fall outfit, or do you need to go up to, uh, you know, a 16 or a 20 and go 100 to uh, 130? That's not an easy question to answer. And, and Scott, it just has so much to do with the size of the fish that we're catching right now, and the and the the the, the differences in fish that are there. I, I, when guys come to the tackle store and say, "What you know, what what outfit should I use for my flat fall?" We generally say the heaviest thing that you have, right, Rick? Because I mean, most of the times, if you're talking 100 to 200 pound fish, they inhale that flat fall, right? So you don't want to be set up light from the get go. Most there's Most more to it than that, also. Sorry okay. About that, yeah. No. Um, I mean, please. When you when you're fishing a flat ball and the captain's up there in the wheelhouse, he says, "Hey, you need to be 360 feet." On those smaller reels, your diameter and your speed is just decreased immensely. So the the bigger diameter reels when you're fishing these flat falls, you get you can still create the speed you need to get that jig doing when you're on the retrieve, what you want to do. They do bite it on the retrieve, even though it's called a flat fall. They that still bite them such, on the retrieve. That is such good call, and 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 you're right. You know. Just because your reel has 
whatever I got, 500 yards of spectra. Right. When 300 yards of that is gone and you're fishing a small reel, you've got a spool versus diameter of a quarter. And right. now say you do hook one, and you're trying to turn that reel, you're not gaining line the way you would. And, yep. you know, and bigger gears and bigger drags and bigger handles that come out of bigger reels also make that so much physically easier. I'd say a, a Talica 12 is certainly up to the task of landing a fish like that, but it's better suited as your live bait rod. I mean, that, in my opinion, a TAC-12 right now is like the single best reel you could be fishing for these bluefin. It's small. It fits in your hand real well. It casts a bait great. It's it's not so big that it's tough to fly line a bait on, on 40 pound with a smaller sardine that we have. But if you hook a 60 pounder or even a 100 pounder, you're still in the driver's seat. I would say it's not the ideal flat fall reel for exactly what Scott was saying. It's just it's just a little shorter. If you could go up to that Talica 20 and get that taller spool, you know, something that's yeah. the size of the old school narrow foro, like yes, that's exactly. that's what you want in your hands. A little more, little more beef. Whether it's um, yo-yo fishing for yellowtail, uh, whether it's flat falls, whether it's knife jigs and what do they call them? laser minnows, yeah, whatever right. they call them now. Um, that the action of your jig is what does everything. And if you got that small spool, your your retrieve is I'm not going to say wasted time, but the more action you get on your jig, whether it's a six X junior for yellowtail or a flat ball, you want that diameter of that spool to get that thing moving. That's a good call. That's a great call. That answer your question for you, Bob? Absolutely. Looks like I'm going to be spending more money. <laughs> Perfect. You win the hundred dollars today. To well, go to the I, I, I hope you do, and we we really appreciate the phone call very much. And you know that's that's the thing too that with I mean the trend that we've been in and. It's kind of not a, a, a thing that it's a thing that's been happening a lot lately, and that big fish is around. I, I think you're safe in making that investment in buying a big flat fall reel. It's it's not just a fad that happened for one year. It's time to make that investment and, and have that thing a piece of your arsenal. There's there's probably not been a lure created as of late that's better for catching a big one consistently. Like you can you can probably bet that for the remainder of this year and probably next year. A tack twenty and a flat fall will remain a very good piece of tackle to go to go catch you a big one. And it's versatile for other things too. I mean, you, you, no, you're totally right. It's good. Yo-yo jigging um, yellows and I tell my customers a lot all the time. It's like golf. You, you can't hit the same club on every shot. That's you it, you have to be ready for everything, and you just don't know what you're going to find. Hey, have I, the right tackle. You said the word earlier. You said the word albacore, and when they come around, that smaller flat fall is going to be oh, money. You're money. Not, Absolutely you're not money. Wait, wait, you see what these two speed reels do to those albacore. <laughs> well, how about fly line and an anchovy on a Trinidad 14? You know, yeah. I mean, you, we've now got a reel that casts as good as a Newell yeah. did, but. You don't have to replace the drags every yeah. time, and you got power and torque, and, and the line doesn't get caught oh, between man. the spool and the side plate <laughs> yeah. anymore. No, when that, it's, it's yeah. When those things come around, they're in trouble. I, I can't wait. It's, so it's sonars so like we have it, gear yeah. the way we have it, it's it's on. It's going to be fun, but let's not let these bluefin get away just yet. Like they the, are a blast. I like I like the way you think, man. I oh. like it, I like it a whole lot. I like it all, man. We're going to have more from Scott, more in the show, more on Let's Talk Hookup. We're we're enjoying our time here on ninety seven three the fan, and we're going to be right back with Let's Talk Hookup. Uh, nine, I almost said it there, Rick. I should say it just so we have three. I like that idea. 1090. Yeah. <laughs> we got more 97.3. Let's talk a couple weeks come back. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the Long Range Vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the Long Range Fishing Experience. A spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality Long Range Voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-4764. 
Hey, this is Jeff from Sagros Kayak Fishing. 2018 was a fantastic season on Sagros, and we are so jazzed for 2019. We are the only tour group serving Sagros that is now flying all of our trips conveniently from Southern California. Yep, you heard me right. SoCal. No more rod fees. No more overweight charges. No more parking fees. No more border weights. Just a nice private charter flight down to the island where we will have you fishing that day. That's right. We arrive at Sagros by 10 a.m., so be prepared to fish hard that first day. Yep, all included here at Sagros Kayak Fishing. Don't want to fish from a kayak? No problem, as we have also added a brand new custom 28-foot Super Ponga to our lineup to accommodate our growing demand to provide Ponga trips. We are the small group specialists. If you are looking for a more custom style trip with a personal feel, Sagros Kayak Fishing is your spot. Visit our website at www.sagroskayakfishing.com or just give me a call at 760-412-2507 to secure your spot. When you put on a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, the world begins to look different. Colors are more vivid. Contrast is clearer. Details are crisper. Wherever your vision leads you, beauty follows. With polarized lenses that eliminate glare and enhance color, Maui Gym sunglasses won't change the world. They'll change the way you see it. Color. Clarity. Detail. Maui Gym. Brand new San Diego. You can now catch us on Google Home. Okay, Google, play 97.3 The Fan. Streaming 97.3 The Fan from Radio.com. I'm not going to embarrass myself out there right now singing on live radio. Use Google Home to hear 97.3 The Fan. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on 97.3 The Fan. Definitely a fun morning here with Scott from the Condor. And, Rick, I've enjoyed our time here for the first show. Me too, buddy. This is great and a lot of fun. Again, you know, I mean, a hundred thanks goes out to everybody. The amazing team here at 97.3 that made this happen. Rob, in particular, who kind of made, made, made so much go down. And, boy, inside the studio here, uh, it, it was just awesome. Having Thomas and Brian taking care of us, keeping us on the air. And a, a huge, huge thanks goes out for an amazing amount of work. Our buddy Adam Clark, who has been with us every step of the way. He's uh, kept us on the air forever and, and uh, did so much work making the app happen. All of our listeners that are out there listening from Orange County in L.A., they're listening through the stream. It's through to tireless work that Adam put through, and we really say a big thanks to him. And, man, we appreciate you listening. We're giving away some killer prizes. So three packs of the Fisherman's Processing Rub. You're going to go on the website, take your choice, of whatever you want from all those great fishermen's processing rubs. Who are, who are those winners? Well, I can Sorry. think of a couple of them I'd love right now out of those uh, <laughs> rubs. But uh, we have three lucky winners that have won three separate packs from Fishman's Processing. Uh, Bob in Lakeside is no one of them. Harry in Chula Vista, you didn't get online. You were still on hold, and sorry about that. Wayne in Huntington Beach, so the three of you have won uh, that. Uh, the big grand finale of the day and a half trip on the condor thanks to scott uh, is who rick uh that's harry and chula vista he was there no excuse me i'm sorry adam and marietta excuse me my my, my adam, and marietta adam and marietta won. yeah yeah has yep. won the day and a half trip and mike and uh, san carlos won a hundred dollar uh fishman's landing gift card i couldn't think of a uh, yeah I, I can think of so many darn things i'd pick up right now and maybe a bunch of mc swim baits oh hell no <laughs> yes. yeah well we're uh we're super stoked and man scott can't begin to thank you enough for taking the time i know it's not easy you're busy two boats keep you busy two boats Ranch in Montana that we're going to be fly fishing out later. You bring people out there, but so much great stuff. We really appreciate you taking the time. Couldn't have possibly picked a better guest to kick off our new stay here at the Fan. And I mean, if somebody wants to come fishing on the Condor, somebody wants to go on the Intrigue, somebody wants to go be a part of all the stuff that you do, how do we find you? Well, thanks for having me. It was my pleasure. Great. You guys do a great service for the industry. Um, you can get a hold of Fisherman's Landing, 619-221-8500 or Fisherman'sLanding.com and book the Condor at any time. On Facebook, Condor Sport Fishing. On Instagram, Condor.SportFishing. i got to remember all this stuff. <laughs> and Intrigue Luxury on both uh, Facebook and uh, Instagram. If you'd like to follow us, we're constantly posting what's happening at the moment. We'd love to give you the information if you want to follow us. I'll tell you, that's what I want to do. I want to put a group of guys together when that big blue fin gets up, settles in around Clemente, starts biting that yummy flyer. I want to jump on that thing with a couple of buds and let's, let's go get one of those big ones, man. That's a uh, that's the way it. to do it. You know, get get your group together. You know, when you get a big one like that, it's a celebration. It's all the guys. You know, it, I, I just I think it was a great move, and we're excited to see things continue and excited to hear how Jimmy does on the Condor. Keep us in touch. You know, we love hearing from you from the boat and the boys. And again, really appreciate it. Keep doing a great job. And Condor is the open party day and a half at a Fisherman's Landing. Just call and uh, 
book up and go fishing with you. Thanks, guys. We'd awesome. like to take you all fishing. Come on down for sure. Appreciate that. Corey, can't say enough good things, man. Thanks to you for all the hard work and the team and Adam and everybody here. And We've got another great show coming for you tomorrow. Rosie and Jeff from Cedro Sport Fishing are going to be joining us. We're going to be talking all things Cedros. Very excited to have Rosie and Jeff in here with us. Again, very busy morning on the phone. Jot that number down, 833-288-0973. If you want to talk to Rosie about Cedro Sport Fishing, and again, we're going to be giving away an amazing opportunity. Cedro Sport Fishing wanting to kick off and be part of the celebration. They're going to be giving $500 off to two customers that want to go on a trip. A very significant savings, $500 on a particular trip. And Rosie's going to tell you more about that. You can jump on our Instagram or you can jump on the Cedro Sport Fishing Instagram to follow a little bit more information about that. So That's some, a huge deal. Yeah, yeah, you're not kidding. And, and uh, you know, you're, when Rosie's going to be able to give you the information, you're going to be able to text her, put your name in the hat, a $500 hundred dollar savings on a trip to cedro sport fishing so again going to be a great show thanks again scott for all that great information and you know uh the, the condor is just a it's a great ride a great opportunity so many people talk so much about it comfortable huge bait capacity which is so important for this time of year and this style of fishing it's just it's built right for what we're doing it is yeah i love taking people and putting them on fish that i can tell you i, I just like your style what you talked about high-end sonar you're just You've never been afraid at putting money where it's supposed to be to give your passengers the best opportunity, whether it's talking about image-stabilized binoculars, whether it's the best sonar on the market. You you always do it right, and that's the reason year after year that boat does so good. They gave us their hard-earned money to come out fishing. We're going to give them the best product we can every time. That's awesome. I love to hear it. We'll appreciate that. We appreciate you guys. Great opportunity here. We're looking forward to another great show coming for you tomorrow here on Let's Talk. Hook up a, a great spot here with 97.3 The Fan. It's been, uh, it's been fun. It's been been a great been a great studio and a great experience for us and we're looking forward to having another show for you tomorrow as pete said goodbye am hello fm <laughs> no doubt about that guys appreciate all the gr- great hard work here on the, this side adam again on the other side of the glass we'll look forward to doing it again tomorrow morning from seven to nine right here on 97.3 the fans